Mm. Oh my god. I have to open the blinds right away so that I can see the earth outside. My oh my oh my. I have to pee. Give me a sec. All done. Oh, let me organize my thoughts. Waking up at 6 a.m. The first thing that I have to do is have something to do. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this cap on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Because if I don't have something to do in the morning and my alarm's going off, it's like against every instinct in my body to wake up at that time. So if I have nothing to do, like if there is no requirement, like something that needs me to be there, I'm not getting up. My only thought is that I don't want to be up, I need to go back to sleep. If there's not another responsibility looming that's going to force me to be present, it's not happening. It's even better if you're responsible to someone else. If you have a job, ask for early opening shifts. It also helps if you go outside. If you wake up and go sit outside, it does a lot too. My thing for today is that I am going to the grocery store. Okay, gonna drink this then. Get my groceries. Morning, y'all. <laughs> Confession time. <laughs> it is not 6 a.m. Clearly. But look, okay, here's my excuse. Look at the weather. Look at the weather. My thing to do was go outside. Are you going outside? No. Look, my dog is still in the bed. Look at him. It's, it just wasn't an early day today. I could have been fake and pretended like this day never happened. When I first started this little getting up at 6 a.m. I would feel so guilty if I didn't wake up. It was just counterproductive because I would spend the rest of the day like hating myself because I felt like I had already failed for the day. You know, I didn't wake up with like a oomph. So the whole day was just like that. The more consistent that I've been with getting up, the more lenient with myself that I am when say once a week. Like today is a Saturday. It's a rainy Saturday. I didn't really lose out on anything today by not waking up and I was tired. It's been a long week. I needed some rest, which is okay. So I woke up today and I don't hate myself. <laughs> and it's still gonna be a good productive day, even if I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. Because I have my waking up at 6 a.m. mindset. Does that make sense? If you're gonna start trying to wake up at an ungodly hour, okay, 6 a.m. is really, people wake up at worse hours, but coming from a girly who loves to sleep till noon, you're gonna have to prepare to fail and prepare to disappoint yourself. I just wanted to show that it's not the end of the world if you miss a day. Being consistent over time is gonna make you feel less guilty on the days that you do miss. It's not like you're gonna wake up at 6 a.m. every day for the whole rest of your life. It's just not, I mean, maybe you will, I don't know. But personally, it's a lazy girl's guide, right? And a lazy girl, oh, I dropped my strawberry. Oh, got it. Is it safe? Let me just, I'll just rinse it. What was I saying? Yeah, it's a lazy girl's guide. And a lazy girl is lazy. So don't shit on yourself too hard. There's also going to be days where you succeed. I guarantee you're going to have such a productive time and morning that you're going to start to build these little memories of all the times that you woke up even when it was painful and then it really paid off. Slowly but surely, those memories are going to start to come to the forefront of your brain right when you wake up instead of the pain wanting to die feeling. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. and I'm up, up and out. On this week's battle with my kitchen flies. <laughs> Ew. Um, I have come to the conclusion that they are actually drain flies, not fruit flies. My method is to boil water and throw it down the drain to kill them all. Got my thing. I'm gonna use a little bit of it for tea. Uh, got it. Okay. They're all dying. 
Honestly, I don't know if it's working, but I really haven't seen any for a couple days since I started doing it. Then I got a little comfortable and I saw one this morning. So I was like, whoa, back to the killing. I mean, I didn't want to have to continue this, but not my fault. Oh, ow. It's hot. Anyways, got my tea. I'm obsessed with the little inspirational quotes that come on the tea bags. Let's see what I have today. Let your energy be used to build, not destroy. How can I use my energy to build, not destroy? I don't know, but actually, I'm kind of a little bit sad today. Not sad. I don't know if sad is the word. I woke up this morning and I was going to go to yoga, right? So I walked to yoga and they had posted that the classes, instead of starting at 7 this week, we're going to be at 7.30. So I had a little thing in the back of my head and I was like, I could either be 30 minutes early or... I could just go at 7 30 like they said it starts 7 30 you know why would it not so i walked there it's like 7 25 it's already going on and i'm like Fuck. i missed it so that made me sad <laughs> but also in my brain today these thoughts keep coming of myself in various like social situations throughout the week and i'm like oh like when i did that like that person thinks i'm so weird or this person hates me or this person didn't think that was funny or they think i'm annoying like so many bad things about myself that no one like no one acted like that in reality like what maybe they hate me maybe they think i'm annoying if that's even true so the fuck what like ah uh, but then okay i noticed that happening and i'm like okay ew and then i'm mad at myself for thinking those things i'm taking a mindfulness class right now a big theme is not judging your thoughts and i find that so hard to do i very quickly label my thoughts as bad and good how do you just have thoughts with no label to them like obviously i want to think good things about myself and about my life and about the world i don't want to think bad things it's hard for me to just have a bad thought and then not judge myself for that thought so i'm really trying i'm like really 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 trying and i think maybe that's why my brain is fighting me changing your mindset and changing your mind about things it's hard your brain is conditioned to think the same thoughts over and over and over if you really had a log that you could read of all your thoughts every day your brain just on a loop every day plays the same story over and over and so it's angry when you want to switch that story up because it's like that's not what we know like we're not used to that so crazy i think i'm gonna finish my book that i'm reading i only have like 30 pages left should be quick so I'm gonna stop acting like this is how I actually drink this because I'm gonna spill it all over myself, burn myself. It's just gonna be bad. If you want to wake up at 6 a.m., you have to go to bed early. And that's actually equally pretty hard because lazy girls like to stay up late into the night. So I make tea, I read. Tonight I'm gonna watch TV, which probably isn't the best, but whatever. Puts me to sleep. I don't know. I'm gonna drink that and then. Ah. Uh -huh.